Greetings, mortals, with the Barlow here, and today is a cyan stream. Because you can pick the color of my shirt on my Twitch channel. And we are playing some more Elden Ring. We're gonna get back in here and see where we're at. Oh yeah, I was stuck on this like puzzle thing, and I still don't know anything about it. It talks about seeking three wise beasts. Um I'm probably just going to ignore this place. Oh, I reset them. So maybe resetting them is better. Because I know there was a turtle. There was a turtle dude hanging out somewhere around here. I suppose we'll go check out Turtle Bro again. And instead of killing him, maybe we have to talk to him or something. We'll just figure it out when we get there, you know. Assuming Turtle Bro is still a thing. Because I don't have no idea. So I don't see Turtle Bro, so I'm just going to move on. Let's go take a look at another area. I'm waiting on my map to pop up. Got enemies too close by, apparently. Thanks for the bell turtle tip, by the way. I got my axe. Nice. Very glad that you uh, was able to get your axe after that. I am going to try to go unlock some more of the map by going that way, I guess. Plus, that's where the uh, grace is leading me. There's been a common con uh, misconception on uh, TikTok that I've been noticing from a lot of players of not knowing where to go or what to do. And for the most part, where to go and what to do is located right on your map, pointing you in the direction of where to go. What to do is finding out what's there when you get there. Type deal. But uh, I had a wonderful TikTok live experience. That was fun. This was not far away at all. I thought this was going to be a lot farther away. Now we have the map. And it's still pointing me this way as if I got to go somewhere in here or something. Is there another? Wait, it could be another lost grace. Ah, that's what it is. It's right here. There's a lost grace right here. So we will uh, sit down at it and see what the game tells me to go after this. I'm just going to kind of follow the graces today and see where they lead me. Touch some grace, so to speak. Um, wanting me to go this way now. I'm assuming it's going to have something to do with the city here. So let's go check out this other city. Maybe find some more upgrade materials. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me on upgrade materials. My weapon is currently at plus five and my halberd is at plus four. Um, I, th you know, we should probably, we should probably go check out blacksmith for just a second here to make sure we know what we need for upgrades. Cause I want to upgrade, man. I got a bunch of tier three upgrades and I want to use them as soon as I can. Tell me what you know, oh seeker of hammer and anvil. You've always taken me for dead, bro. I need one more tier two smithing stone and then I can start upgrading um, it more. I could upgrade the halberd again, plus five. But I don't think that's a good idea. I think I am going to push all the way with our um, blood sword. Cause I'm just, I'm just enjoying the blood sword quite a lot. So we need another tier two stone. I don't think we're going to find tier two here cause we found tier three in this area. So I feel like I need to go back to look for tier twos. Um, tier one was in here. I found some tier twos in this area. Let's go here and see, uh, let's go see if we can find at least one more tier two stones somewhere because we haven't really fully searched this location up entirely particularly this place oh here's something oh it's something to break let's get this guy to break it i guess 
Can you do a big attack and break this for me? Is that what it is? No. Oh Lord. Man's got damage. Ow. Go easy on me. Oh, we killed each other. How would I open that thing? Would I have to throw like maybe a, a firebomb at it or something? Is it possible to make a blood halberd? Yes, I believe so. Honestly, that's a good question, mister. That's a very, very good question. Can I remove a Ash of War? Like if I, if I put a different Ash of War on here and say, go heavy. Okay. I can put it back. So hang on, hang on. You've given, nah, I can't, I can't put, nah, nah, nah. It won't let me put the bloody slash on the halberd. Nope. This is a, it can only be put on. certain things i uh let's see i'd have to look at it somewhere else but no i don't think so i think it only goes on swords i might be able to put it on a great sword yeah no i know i can put it on a great sword easy there boy man's got damage i gotta be careful with him a little bit better uh, I'm trying to push the dog a little bit too soon when he kind of kills the dog. So I should just let him like basically fight the dog on his own. My lost ruins are very important because I've got almost 5k of them right now. Get that stagger down. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, he drops 451 souls. Like, real talk for a second. That's not bad. Read message. Try giant. I did try giant. He didn't do anything. Try giant. Oh, hang on. Do you mean try this giant? Dang! Bird almost killed me. Bird up! I love the brass shield, man. I'm so glad I got brass shield. How far away is that giant from right here? Could I lure him all the way over here? That's the real question. Like, we can, we can sit here and talk about the the smaller giant, but now I kind of want to try the bigger giant here. Ayo, hey, big giant, come on. I got something for you to do, buddy. The connection to the Elden Ring game server was lost, returning to title menu. That giant just hit me so bloody hard, it knocked me out of the game. What up? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> the the giant just hit me so hard he knocked me out of the game. That's some real damage right there. Network status fell. Starting in offline mode. That's fine. I don't care. We can do offline mode. <laughs> I don't summon people anyway, so that's fine. The true damage. Both of the enemies are dead, but the giant's still here. Check it out. Where we respawned at, bruh. It remembered who I killed. That's cool. I expected to be back in the bonfire. That's funny to me. Come with me, Mr. Giant. I have jobs for you to do. It would be really funny if we used you to kill all the enemies up, up, up in the way up here. Like, as a, as a pseudo... 
AOE thing to help fight all the enemies up ahead. How far will you follow me? Because that would be kind of funny. Come on, Mr. Giant. Don't quit falling down. Just follow me, bro. You big clumsy boy. Come with me, big clumsy boy. I'm going to deal one damage to him just to make sure the game doesn't like reset him or something weird. Come on, Mr. Mr. Giant. Almost here, buddy. You're so close, buddy. I feel like you're actually the way of doing this. Come on, buddy. I have no idea what I'm going to get from this. <laughs> like, I just saw it and thought I would do this. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Giant. Yay! But now I got a giant to worry about, right? Like, smithing stones! Hey, we did get the thing I was looking for. <laughs> That is just a coincidence. I literally had no idea what was going to be in that thing. I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I had zero clue. <laughs> I didn't come here. Like, I didn't know at all. I promise. <laughs> I literally just saw it. I was going to search this whole area for stuff, and it turned out that had it. <laughs> that is so funny. They hide little stuff like that constantly. I know. I know, big boy. Calm down. I need to drink. But yeah, I'm going to kill him real quick. Not because I have to, just because I want to. Do they drop something every time they die? Because I've killed him before. Nope. Fair enough. That was the big boy. <laughs> Good enough for me. Thank you for the chip, Lucky. I appreciate it, man. Let's get ourselves some upgrades. Well, I took you no matter it's out of your arms. We have armament strengthening. And now we go up real high on this right here. We're at a plus eight now. Daggone, we need literally one more to go up to plus nine. I wonder if that's going to make a big difference or not much of a difference. There has been a lot of plus threes in this area, so... Oh, I noticed them on the map. Yo, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just noticed the structures on the map. Let me, uh, let me look at those. Okay, so like these are clearly the structures I was thinking about. I want to make sure I check each one of these and then take their marker off, basically. Because each one of these, I think, is those cathedral things we were going into earlier that gave us three each that were surrounded by friggin' shrimp. So, where's my number one right now? I don't know where my other marker is at right yet. Oh, number one's there. I want to head to two. I want to do two, three, four, five, because I think I've already gotten one, but I want to do two, three, four, five. So we will go to two first. We'll go to two first. Because I went into these structures earlier and got these really, like, level three smithing stones. Okay, so we already got this one. So two's over with. Now we'll go to three. We'll go to three, then four, then five. And then maybe double back to one. What are these? Oh, these are the shrimp. Oh, God. Oh, God, the shrimp. Get away from me. <laughs> I'm not ready for the low country broil today. <laughs> so I'll head up here to three and see what I got. And 
then we'll head to four, and then we'll head to five. Because I, I know I've picked up, I think, two of these so far. Here's, like, one I haven't picked up. Oh, see, that was tier two. I could have just came over here and got them, but I didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. So we just got some more tier two. Oh, Lord. Shrimps fight back. After all the shrimp I've eaten in the past. Oh, there's a grace mark here. Wicked. I was expecting this to be more, uh, more upgrade material, but I guess not. <laughs> they changed it up on me. All right, we'll head to five next, I guess. Unless there's upgrade material like here or something. My buddy Nance was telling me something about mines, and I don't think I've seen any mines like having upgrade materials in mines. It'd be really cool for me to find one of those because I'd like to get a whole bunch of upgrade materials if I can. <laughs> so we're going to try to keep a lookout for like these little mine shaft things, apparently. But yeah, I've already gotten number one, so number five might have something in it. It might not. Because I don't know how many of these I've already searched. There we go. Smithing Stones 2. Still no Smithing Stones 3. These gave me a bunch of Smithing Stones 2, which is good for upgrading the Halberd if I want it to. So let's take a moment to get rid of our little markers. So that didn't help me get my upgrade because now I've got nothing but smithing stone twos now and I'm working on smithing stone threes and fours, I guess. Should we check out this chapel over here? This looks like a cool little place. Just searching around. That's a cool little attack. So there's this little chapel church thing right here. I want to check this out. These guys are kind of cool. Ooh, material. They look like they would really deal some damage if they hit me. Oh, there's a grace here. There's just graces everywhere. That's, I, I really do have a small complaint on like how frequent these uh, these spots are. Because it, 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 I literally go from one to another and it's like super close together. Converted tower. I don't know. I've never heard of that word before, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Oh, some more glintstone. I don't even know anything about the glintstone crap either. So going here was pointless for me. And this is how you know that I'm not looking up anything because I am constantly going in places and going, well, that's not for my build. <laughs> Oh, these, oh Lord, these bow guys. Oh, the bow guys are fun. What up, Mr. Bow Guy? Oh Lord. These guys, these guys screw up your horse. These guys absolutely screw up your horse. I love them. I give a bunch of arrows too. Well, I know where to farm arrows if I ever went with a bow build. Horse just makes things way too easy. <laughs> like, sure these aren't like the hardest of enemies or whatever, but like, I would have a lot harder time killing them if I was to uh, 
actually fight them instead of horse them. <laughs> We're in the pot world now. Oh, one of these dudes again. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, let's go fight him. This one doesn't have a whole bunch of minotaurs around him, so I feel like I can actually do it. Two forty four four ninety three. Got a good block on that right there. Four ninety three is doing pretty good for us right now. One thirty three on my uh, on my counter attacks ain't bad. 94 damage now. So we went up 20, 20 damage per hit. That's not bad. This guy is a lot more fun to fight now. except for when he does those attacks. Come on, we can ki we can kill our first Erd tree avatar, right? Oh, I can't let him hit me like that though. Man, that attack is awesome. <laughs> that attack like I still don't I don't know if I should roll through it or because I don't, I don't have really a way to block faith damage like that, man. Like holy magic is kind of the bane of my existence right now. Maybe the horse, maybe the horse, like. Bad timing. Uh, the terrain hurt me on that one because I, I rolled into uh, that pot and couldn't heal. I wanted to roll twice and then do a heal. That was the kind of methodology that I was going for for it. I can kill an herd tree though. 493 on my, my damage right now is looking very gnarly. I'm liking it. Just roll left and right to dodge the holy bolts. Left and right, got it. I'll try that out. Well, that wasn't a success. Let's see what my email was real quick. Nope. Left and right, I'll give it a try. Also, how you doing today, Mr. Nant? You having a good day? I am doing wonderful. I'm going to kill my first Erd tree today. That worked really well, Nance. Actually, yeah, uh, that totally worked. <laughs> that was cool. Also get a little distance to help with roll time. Yeah. I got a short sword, so it's kind of hard to do. But yeah, I definitely understand that. I'm hoping these guys drop either really good souls or something that can help my game because there's one at like every friggin' tree and I don't know why or what they do when I do them. Need a drink. I had to go for the drink.
Oh, the explosion can one shot me too. Uh, yeah, I've killed five of these. The ones with rot when they butt slam is horrible. Yeah, I saw the I saw the pustulate ones earlier. The the rotten ones. That one was uh interesting because they have that little AOE slime attack that goes on. I'm gonna try not using my uh, bleed attack real quick. Just to see if they bleed. Do the trees bleed is a good question. Bad timing on my part. It's so hard, bro. I guess I gotta go really far away from him and then do the rolls, cause he's just gonna like smash me while I'm rolling back and forth, basically. That's that's awkward. But uh I see it as being a fun thing to try. Rolling back and forth, but also avoiding a big uh big slash is interesting. That was pretty successful right there. I did that one good. That one shot me, what? Oh man. I did really good on that roll though. That was flawed. That was, that was nice. That was exactly what I was supposed to be doing against them. I'm hoping I can do that again, but then seal the deal at the end basically, you know? I'm having a trouble sealing the deal with some of these bosses, but that's entirely okay because it's it's a learning process. timing on my part that guy's mad at me now well the tree blocked me most of their attack packs are one shot even with high armor and health that's awesome to know it's good to know that health is once again semi useless I'm sure it has some use, but I'm glad to know that it's, uh, there are still some bosses that make health pointless. <laughs> a good roll and a good block will always trump high health. High health is just helpful for when you make a mistake or two. what I figured would happen. Ha! I couldn't roll to the right because of the rock that was next to me. The train here is messing with me a little bit. These earth trees are no joke, man. They, 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 uh, they got some good health on them. They got some really fun attacks and they got some really hardcore homing attacks. So... I think it's good. These are a very healthy boss in my opinion, as far as like movement and play goes. 
Oh my lord. They punish the crap out of you if you make a mistake, and I love that. That rock right there is giving me pain. Actually, just rolling right actually works pretty decently. Yeah, rolling just to the right actually helps a lot. Funny enough. I just can't get hit by one of them. Woo! Ah, uh, I'm dead. Nope. I, uh... I, oh. Oh. Hang on. Let me get my horse. I need to get back up there now. I fell down. If this is how I kill my first Erd tree, I'm going to be so mad. Ow. Leave my horse alone. Leave my horse out of this, bro. This isn't about my horse. This is about me and you. This is insanity. Bruh, this is so crazy to me right now. I, uh... <laughs> whatever that was. Whatever that fight was, man. <laughs> whatever that fight was. <laughs> that was something. I had to fall down. <laughs> that was an interesting little fight. Oh, I'm not back where I was. Okay. Well, we can get back up there. I just want to kill an Erd tree, man. Let's go. Oh, man, there had to be some souls right here, right? All right. I did not mean to waste that flask, that's for sure. Hey, I didn't die, but it was so it's worth it. Big old butt slams. Right there is how you're supposed to do it. Dang it. He smashed me! He smashed me! <laughs> uh, I'm still not used to his timings yet, but I'll get it. <laughs> it's so fun to watch this. Like, th these kind of fights here where you're just trying to, like, yeah, it's one slip and rip, man. So, so crazy. But I love it. I love it. I love it when it's like you just immediately die if you make a mistake. <laughs> But I'm finding out my spots where I can hit them good, though. Like, when he makes certain uh, attacks, like this one, I can come up to him and then I get a free attack right here. Then I can drink on some of his attacks. And then he's recovering on certain attacks. And then he's got these attacks that I can hit him on, usually. Uh, 
and something like that right there. This guy's giving me problems now, dang. There he goes. That's a good attack to hit him on. There's the butt slam. I usually get one right after the butt slam. And then we're back to doing one of these. I'm going to top off my health just in case. Let him do his butt slam and finish him off. Yeah, buddy. Once you learn the pattern, once you learn the dance, nothing is hard in this game. It just takes a few deaths to learn it. Cerulean Crystal Tear. What the heck is a Cerulean Crystal Tear? Ruptured Crystal Tear. Okay. So these things give... Ah, they give the tears for the Wondrous Jug thingy, I take it. Ah, that makes more sense. That makes me much more interested in them, honestly. But, uh, let's see. I want to check out this little fin right here. I know where everything's pointing me, but I want to keep, uh, keep exploring just a little bit longer. Uh, what was the amount of material I got? So I've got plenty of those smithing stones and now I've got plenty of those smithing stones. Five. We need one more smithing stone three to get to where we want to be at. But, uh, let's head over this way and see what we find at this little fin on the side of the map. I just look at the map, think to myself, have I been there before? Doesn't look like it. That's clearly death if you go down there, right? Is that not... That's clearly a place I could probably go, right? Like... It's all rocky cliff faces through here, through here. I guess we'll go to this thing then. Since uh, this is clearly not... Oh, whoop, oh, oh, I made mistakes. I made supreme mistakes there. <laughs> My horse was like, it's time to go. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Let's see what my good buddy Xanfer sent me as a snap. Gotta love technology, man. Technology, man. Gotta love technology. You're learning Python. Python sucks, man. Yeah, I hate Python, buddy. Python sucks. Python is, uh, is tremendously annoying to work with. Um, all right, let's head to, I guess I gotta go through the mountain here. Crabos, we found some more crabos. Poison blooms. I'm assuming I would be getting poisoned right now, but because it's my horse, I feel like I'm not getting poisoned. An item! Be a... Smithing Stone 2. Not what I'm looking for, but welcome. All Smithing Stones are welcome. There's a coughing man right here. I am poisoned. Uh, this area is very dangerous, apparently, of, of poison people. Hey, I've found a bunch of these lily things. Nice. Don't know if they're going to be useful to me or not, because I still don't know anything about crafting. Poison blooms. I'm assuming poison blooms are going to let me unpoison myself, basically. Mushrooms. I sure have gotten a lot of mushrooms. They must be semi useful. We are now in village of Albinerics. Albinerics.
Oh, hey, there's a grace spot here. Well, they're not... Well, they're sort of angry at me. I wasn't sure if they were truly angry at me or not. Let me check some messages being sent to me. All right. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's check out this new little area right here. Finding some more mushrooms. Oh, that leads over to that area. That's the thing about this game is you'll 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 get it in your head to go somewhere and then you'll find a really cool place to hang out at that uh, has nothing to do with the place that you were going to. This dude was whist doing like a whistle thing. What up, man? Are you trying to put me to sleep or something? Oh, you have like weird fire magic. You are not easy to fight. Hang on now. You calm down for a second, sir. Yo, this guy has some strength to him. Oh, he can heal. He can heal too. What an interesting attack. Yo, that is like a super cool, like fire attack. It's like a delayed fire blast. That is like area de like denial in a nutshell right there. What the heck? It goes through walls. I gotta like try to be aggressive maybe. That is a cool enemy, bro. That is such a cool enemy. That is such a cool enemy. I am very interested in seeing what this man drops and also getting muscles back. Plus he's sitting there just like with a little flute thing hanging out. Oh, I didn't have very many souls to begin with. I thought I got like 5k from that one, but I guess I died. I died twice, that's why. I didn't go back and get my souls a minute ago. Oh well. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is run forward. Oh, he has a little dagger attack for that as well, I assume. Bad, bad try, bad try. This guy's attacks are very delayed and hard to... I haven't never fought anything like this in a Dark Souls game. This is not like... This, his, all of his attacks are basically stay away from me or you're going to get hit. That is how you're supposed to kill him. <laughs> the powder. I guess the powder is what he was using. Miranda's powder. So that was... That was an interesting guy. And I, I now know the best way to deal with him is to rush the living crap out of him. Just stab him in the head, good lord. Well, I ended your life pretty much. <laughs> Dang. I have no idea. Ivory sickle. What is an ivory sickle? The type of dagger that has split damage and does intelligence stuff. I mean, I could try it out just to uh, just to see where my damage compares to an unupgraded dagger. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, you feel the delay now. What do you mean feel the delay now? I don't have any delay. I'm talking about his uh, his 
weird powder attacks he was doing. That dude had like these really weird powder attacks that was basically keeping me away. What the heck is the goop coming off of this? Oh, the, yeah. This magic guy is giving me some troubles too, just because I don't block magic very well. I don't need that ball, but I'll take it just because. What else is here? Oh, okay. So we have found a... Is this across from where we were? Oh, hey, here's a little purple thing. Give me the purple thing. Rune arc. I still don't know what rune arcs are. I was talking about that last night. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, let me get rid of this uh, weapon I'm not using. Omen killer. So this is a boss. All right. Ooh, he's got some damage on him too. But I deal quite a bit of damage to him, so I'm not terribly worried about him, but he does look awesome. He's got a cool aesthetic about him. Did you find this guy, Nant? Let's see. And of course that guy does respawn. Hopefully he doesn't follow me. I just kind of want to fight Omen Killer right now. I would prefer to stick to just fighting Omen Killer. The idea. And I certainly don't want multiple dogs in my life right now. All right, Mr. Omen Killer, let's go. I got to be careful with this guy. He's got some damage, man. The multi-attack on him is nice. drink again that flame attack is awesome i don't know where the ah man i don't know where the best timing is yet for him that flame attack is gnarly looking i like it this guy's cool this guy's really cool i like his helmet too i like this guy's entire aesthetic But yeah, I can get down there to him without leading any of the other enemies here. This guy right here is harder than the uh, boss that's here, honestly. That enemy is very anti-me. Gonna try to jump, but uh, it doesn't matter. my HP. Alright, Mr. Omen Killer, let's go. Good lord. If he followed up with a fire attack, I might have died there. Can I get a backstab on him? Let's go for a backstab to start off with. Oh, the... Whoa, he like instant blood lost me. What did I have? Did I have a bleed buildup that I didn't realize? Dude, this dude is gnarly. He's so gnarly, bro. He's so gnarly looking. Bro, I didn't even know. Like, I, 
I couldn't tell. Was my was I building up bleed or did I not build up bleed? I was probably building up bleed, but like he insta bled me. It felt like. I'm assuming he didn't insta bleed me, but it felt like it a little bit. What? <laughs> That's too far. That was too far to fall. Dang it. <laughs> I tried, bruh. I tried. I tried on that one. You can't get mad at me for trying. Well, I lost like 2k souls, but I've lost so much more souls than that recently on all this. Hey, I made my horse take all that damage. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Backstab. Nope. I can keep him stunned. I can keep him stun locked. Backstab to finish him off. I stun locked the crap out of him with heavy attacks. Look at that. Check that out. <laughs> Absolutely stun the crap out of him. Crucible not talisman. That's interesting. What does this talisman do? Reduces damage and impact of headshot. Oh, okay. That's not like super awesome. <laughs> Whatever. There's just another dog sitting back here. What up? You should have helped your uh, your master from uh, being destroyed by me. <laughs> and have no souls in that right there. So. Herb. Good old herb. I'm assuming there's not much else over here for that thing I already got. All right, back to our search of the area, I suppose. Luckily, fire doesn't deal any damage. Oh, I see an item down there. Nice. I didn't notice this item earlier. Larval tier. Okay. We got some tier of worms, larval worm things. Uh, yeah, we didn't go across this bridge, so I guess we'll go across the bridge now. These guys have like some weird blood. That's all I'm thinking. Some of that white blood. Some blood clot. What the heck is going on? Ooh, careful. I'm glad I I missed. Alright, now get off the horse so I can get this item. Crystal sword. Ooh, 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 wee, ooh, wee. It does go off of our intelligence a little bit. I do have the ability to use it. Spinning slash. 
wonder if I can turn this to bleed. <laughs> Just like <laughs> have a bleed magic sword or something. How much damage does this deal? 79. This is, hey, this is actually dealing. I think this is dealing almost. Yeah, hang on. Magic sword might not be terrible here. Hang on. Of course, if I run into anything that is like anti-magic, that could be a, a pretty big problem. But I'm kind of digging the magic sword a little bit here. Glad I came this way. Oh, I ain't fighting another one of those guys. Heck no. Alright, let's keep heading through uh, the swamp area, I guess. Oh no, I had to go like around, didn't I? Yeah, because it's like... I gotta go around and down, basically. So going through the mountain is what I was doing originally. We just happened to find this place. Let's uh, let's leave the sword alone for right now since it's not upgraded and it won't be dealing more damage than what I'm doing right now. Just yet. We just got Vow of the Indomitable. Whatever that means. There's been some really cool um, Art of Wars that I've been finding that I don't really know if they're going to be better or worse than what I've already been doing. Crystal Buds! Easy, hang on now. Don't push me off. <laughs> I'm over here trying to uh, trying to look at something, you know. Uh, I can't look at map while enemies are nearby. I guess I got to be on top of the mountain. But I honestly don't know how to get on top of it. Obviously, I can't jump up there. Let's go back to here and see if we can figure it out. I don't know. We'll find it later, maybe. Like, what about here, too? That's another, like, idea. This mountain's huge, and I'm currently underneath it. That doesn't take me to where I'm wanting to go. We're on, like, the underneath, currently. That's where the boss was. Maybe going this way. Could just be, like, barking up the wrong tree, barking up the wrong mountain right now, you know? I think this is the way I came from. Yeah, this is where that tower is at. Alright, I'm kind of done searching this area, I'm thinking, because, uh... If there's a way to get up to the top of that mountain... Oh, there definitely is, because I see a structure up there. It's just not going to be in this area. It's going to be somewhere else. Well, that being said, let's find some new locations to go to, because obviously I'm not finding anything with these. So I assume going this way would be kind of fun. Till we get to that other Mark of Grace. So turning around and heading this way. Maybe we'll find some cool stuff. We're on the hunt for some cool stuff.
We are looking for a single level three weapon upgrade. While terrorizing the uh, environment, of course. Goodbye, horse. Goodbye, me. <laughs> I should just avoid doing stuff like that. <laughs> Use gestures from the main menu to perform a variety of basic poses. Nothing like a basic enemy to humble you. Am I right? Where else could some weapon upgrade stuff be through here? Maybe up there. I see like some weird structures in the distance. Also, I got to find some sort of key. unlock the uh what you might call it hey these things these things point in directions and tell us where to get things let's go check out what this guy's pointing at that's the other thing about this game there's little stuff like this that will literally tell you where to go and what to do guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the root talking about something this way so I hear a crystal thingy this thing has led me to a crystal thingy which gave me sword dance There are some bats hanging out down here. Hey, one of these little structure things. Don't these have something for me? No. Where are we going down here? Usually those things point to like another catacomb or thing that is, uh, oh yeah, every Erd tree has like a dungeon thing underneath them, don't they? Well, time to do another dungeon in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.